I didn't actually know that the council offered stuff like this. Obviously the council were heavily involved in that. What's the first thing they do? They call their local council. The closer you are, the more we care. Welcome to the Regional Council of Goida. The Goida Council is situated in the mid-north of South Australia and is named after George Goida, whose renowned line traverses the four council districts of Hallett, Burra, Robertstown and Udunda. The area is rich in heritage and tourism, but what we're really about are the people. For the almost 4,500 people who reside in the Goida district, there's a real sense of community in everything we do. Part of my role at the, as Community Liaison Officer is also to work with the volunteers in the Council, um, but I've also been a volunteer and I'm still am a volunteer myself, so I understand how it works and how important they are to the community. We also have a Youth Advisory Committee. Um, we feel that youth are really important in our community, so it's something that we're really trying to work on and getting young people to um, be involved in volunteering because as you've seen, it's an ageing population and we need to get some young people involved to help those that are almost at the end of their volunteering life. So at the moment, the main project is the skate park and it's a big deal for the youth of this community. We are currently uh, on the project of the skate park in Burra. Uh, we've been fundraising for the past seven years and uh, we hopefully are going to see that finished by the end of this year. I think it's very important so that the youth of Burra has a, an area for them to go and be all together and staying out of trouble in the town, so I think it's very beneficial. I'm Wayne Thompson, I'm the co-manager of the Borough Caravan Park. The volunteers maintain the grounds past the park into the other areas, planting trees, making sure that there's no weeds and uh, you know, virtually just keeping all the stuff down down there. Well, my name's Bruce Stockman, I'm a retired farmer, uh, been living in town for six years. Lacking the heavy farm work, I've more or less become an advisor or an ideas person, sowed a few, sowing a few seeds. The present one is a revegetation of the creek, which is rather a large one because the, this creek is five kilometres long. There is a plan in to landscape it and beautify it and make it look better in conjunction with some other development that's going on over there. It's a community garden and I enjoy doing it and as long as it's kept neat and tidy and uh, weeding and cutting back and my off cider, he keeps the weeds down for me and I've got another lady, Avis Webster. She's been down here 12 years. As long as I'm able, I'll keep on doing it. But I'm nearly 76 this year. At the Midnight Oil House, yep, that, so that is a project of the Community Management Committee. They're restoring that house and they're trying to raise funds. When they restore that, they'll also be looking at um, putting out an interpretive um, area there so tourists will come and, and have a look at that. Through the CMC, we are preserving it so it doesn't fall into crumble into a heap of rubble like many of the old buildings around the district are and uh, putting it on our borough tourist list and we just think this would be another feather in our cap with a little bit of development preserving it so it's there for posterity the future is just to make it look better that's all we can do We'd, i've never looked at it as being a volunteer it's being part of something without volunteers we wouldn't have um, these communities and you see a lot of smaller towns dying and um, I think the community spirit here is and in the, the whole Goida region is that they don't want to see that happen and they work really hard to, um, to get involved and to keep the town running. For career opportunities with your local council, visit careersincouncil.sa.gov.au Councils get close to the things that matter to you.